Hey there, Dimitri from Total Physical Therapy, total-pt.com. Got my partner Lauren here. Uh, we'll talk about today um, neural tension. Last time we talked about the upper limb. Today we're going to talk about the lower limb, and we're going to isolate to two basic nerves. The sciatic nerve, everybody's heard of that, and the femoral nerve. So sciatic nerve controls basically the entire leg, but the sciatic nerve also splits, and uh, the femoral nerve comes out from the groin and goes down the thigh. So that takes care of the quad primarily. Okay, which is what we're going to talk about today. So you want to learn how to stretch not the muscle, but the nerve, which is the sciatic nerve in the back and the femoral nerve in the front. So what I would do with a patient would be to stretch it manually. Let me show you real quick how that's going to happen and then how you are going to do this independently. So normally what I would do is I would take the, the leg, and again, normally if you stretch a hamstring, you're doing something like so where you're engaging the hip and the knee, to try to isolate the hamstring. So that's going to stretch the nerve, the muscle, but the nerve itself is on slack. So when you're stretching a hamstring, you do want to keep the knee slightly bent and then engage it so you're tightening up the hamstring and stretching it out. When you're stretching the nerve, you want to keep the knee locked. And then what happens is you pull out and in to try to isolate the sciatic nerve. Now obviously you can't do that on your own, so there's a very simple way that you can do that independently. All right, so sit up the front, and here this is the only time that I'll actually tell you to slouch because that's actually part of the move. So come up a little higher so the knee. No, there you go. All right, so here you're going to slouch, bend the head down, and what that does that that pulls tension on the spinal cord because again, remember the spinal cord of the ner peripheral nervous system is all one piece: brain, spinal cord, all the way down to the toes. So the more you flex the spine and the head, the more tension you put on the sciatic nerve. So here you would, this would be the starting position, and then if you're trying to stretch the sciatic nerve on the left side, you then straighten out the knee, and then you dorsiflex the foot, bring the toe up towards your head, and that's going to create tension. You're going to feel that pull on the bottom of the leg and maybe into even the foot and the toes. Very different stretch than trying to stretch the hamstrings, okay, because here you're taking tension and putting it on proximally to distal, and then pressure off. And obviously you don't want to hold that position. So, and then reset. Then you slouch again, flex, head down, straighten out the knee, dorsiflex. And then release everything and go back to a neutral position. So that would be the stretch to isolate the sciatic nerve. And again, pressure on, pressure off, 10 repetitions every couple of hours. That's for the sciatic nerve, the back of the thigh. For the front of the thigh, you want to isolate the femoral nerve, which is in the front. So this is how you would do it. So let's get the right one. The left one, actually. Yeah. Here. So let's get into, so what you would do is you would get into this position like so. There you go. So you would arch your back by doing a press-up hold. I'm assuming this is all assuming your back's fine here. And that, and to stretch this side here, this is the position you start with. And remember, the, unlike the sciatic nerve, the femoral nerve is in the front of the body. So you're going to extend the hip, then she's going to actively flex the knee, and then what she can do, based on where the symptoms are, she could deviate the foot medially or laterally for that matter, and maybe even dorsiflex it or plantar flex it based on what replicates more of the symptoms. Okay, And then back down, and that's the reset position. Flex the knee again, and then move the foot around to, rep to try to find that extra little added tension, and then you reset again. And obviously you could arch a little more, arch a little less based on your comfort level, but really it's all about hip extension and then bending that knee to create more tension on the front end of the leg. All right, so try that out and we'll see you next time.